Well, g'day, curd nerds. Welcome to day 22 of the Cheese a Day Challenge. And today's cheese is Gorgonzola Dolce. So Gorgonzola has two main varieties. Uh, the first one is Dolce, which is sweet or mild. And uh, the second one is Picanti, which is strong or spicy. Uh, so I've chosen the, uh, the Dolce version uh, to see kind of if it matches, say, Roquefort. Now, it probably won't because this is made with cow's milk and not sheep's milk like Roquefort was made with sheep's milk. Uh, so the ingredients are pasteurized milk, lactic acid bacteria cultures, salt, uh, calf rennet, uh, penicillium Roque 40. Uh, it says that the fat content is 29 grams and it was made in Italy by, well it says Eagle brand. I'm not sure what the manufacturer is. Doesn't say. Let's have a look. No, there's no, no other information. Doesn't say who the um, who the manufacturer is. It says Eagle. A funny thing on the front, it actually says um, naturally lactose free. So maybe <laughs> who knows? Um, one thing I forgot to mention is the weight. It's 195 grams. So let's crack into this Gorgonzola and uh, see. Oh, it says here um, Gamberi al Gorgonzola. So, not sure what that means in Italian. I'm sure my Italian viewers will be able to tell me that if I pronounce it right. So, let's open it up. Oh, I've lost a cracker. There's a cracker down. Hmm. Smells like a milky blue cheese. Let's just get that out of my side. It's a nice big slab. Rather generous. Um, one thing I forgot to say was the cost, and it was six dollars sixty nine Australian. So that's pretty good. So as you can see there, it's fairly lightly marbled, uh, and you saw on the top of the cheese uh, the the piercing holes. Now it's fairly moist, um, as you would expect this cheese to be. Uh, the marbling is fairly light on. Um, there is. Uh, a bit, not a lot. Um, not like, say, the Stilton that had marbling all the way through. Anyway, let's try some of this. And I must say, I think it might be, I'm not sure, it might be my first Gorgonzola ever. So here it goes. It smells, um, I don't know, a little bit like straw. Anyway. Mmm. How to describe, very creamy. Um, it's got a slight blue cheese kick to it. Uh, let's have a bit more. Hmm. Ah, that's very nice. That will make a wicked blue cheese sauce because it's not too strong. And you know, when you have a when you make a blue cheese sauce, you don't want it being really, really strong. You want it having just a mild blue t cheese taste. But this is this is very nice. You definitely need it with crackers. I don't think it'd go well by itself. One thing I didn't check, what's the serving size? Oh, of course, 25 grams. Need I look any further than that. When was it? Production date was, I've just noticed that, 
Production date was the 27th of July 2018 and this was packaged on the 24th of September 2018. So it's got a best before date of 30th of April 2019. Anyway, all that aside, it's a little bit older than what it should be, I suppose, seeing it's got to be transported to Australia. So I haven't had my 25 grams quota worth. Let's try that. I like how smooth it is. It's really good. Going to get a big chunk of blue up this end. It doesn't really, just having that extra blue mould on there really didn't affect the taste very much. Hmm. The blue is like um, permeated all the way through. I'll try a little bit without a cracker, just cause. Very, very smooth, very creamy. Mm. Very nice. So Gorgonzola was all that I expected. Um, I was kind of expecting a mild, creamy um, sort of cheese, um, but yeah, and, and it didn't fail the liver. That was a good, a good blue cheese. Um, I don't know if I'd rate it on par with, say, mm, I was going to say Stilton and the Roquefort, but they're t entirely different blue cheeses. You really can't, um, you can't rate them in scale of blue cheeses. It's it's all personal preference if you do that. This is a delightful cheese that stands by itself, as far as I'm concerned. So if you haven't tried Gorgonzola before, uh, a little bit on the pricey side, but you get a fair bit of it, um, go out and uh, see if you can buy some. I bought this one from Coles Supermarket here in Australia, but I'm sure you can get that brand. It's probably the export brand for Gorgonzola out of Italy. Um, so you shouldn't have too many troubles uh, getting your hands on it. So nice, authentic Italian cheese. Um, I rate it very good. So tomorrow's cheese is um, Tellagio. I managed to find some Tellagio imported from Italy as well. It's not a very big piece, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. And it will be my first piece of Tellagio. Actually, no, second. I actually bought a piece. I think I showed it on the... Oh, I did a little segment a while ago called Keep Calm and Eat Cheese. And I think Tellagio was one of my one of my cheeses and it was wrapped in white wax and it looked pretty gnarly and I really didn't I don't think I thought much of it at the time because it must have been sitting in the supermarket for months years who knows um, protecting that little coat of white wax anyway this one's not waxed it's pal uh, plastic wrapped anyway we will see that tomorrow so if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do so uh, if you want to make uh, blue cheeses, probably similar to this one, I think there's some recipes in it, if you check out the blue cheese kit over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au. Well, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I'll see you for the next episode of the Cheese Day Challenge. Bye.